I ran into a small issue a couple of days ago, so I thought I would do this tutorial on the central question of that issue. We're going to look at how you can tell whether or not a JavaScript date object is a date or not. Before we get started, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description. Also, my website has a list of all the tutorials I've published. There are over 200 now. The description also has a link to Patreon if you'd like to support this channel and get access to the code files. There is also a link to earn script in the description. So a couple of days ago, I needed to create a function that acted on JavaScript dates. As a part of the function, I needed to make sure what was passed into the function was a JavaScript date or just text string representing a date. So I began looking into how you can check if something is a date. We're going to look at two methods on how to do that. So let's get into it. So here I have a date set up. Now the first thing that we usually think to try when we're trying to see what a particular data type is, is using the type of operator. And so let's see what that returns first. Now, as you can probably guess, if you're somewhat familiar with the type of operator, you're going to get object back. There's so many types in JavaScript that just return object as that type. So that's not going to work for us very well. So let's look at the solutions, the way we are able to tell what this is. So first solution is we can use the instance of operator. Now instance of, what the purpose of that is, is to return what the constructor is that created the object. And so we can do something like this. If I want to check to see if this is a date object, I can do date instance of and then we put the constructor the date constructor there as the next part of that phrase so it's going to take this object and it's going to check to see if this is an instance of this meaning that the date constructor was used to create this all right so if we save that Let's go ahead and refresh again. So we get true. That tells us that yes, it is an instance of that object. Now, in what situations does that work? For example, if we have date two and we set that equal to, then we have a string that represents a date. Now, obviously, date two is not going to be equal to that. If we save that here and refresh, we get a false. But what would happen or what would we get if we converted that to a date? So we use the date constructor. Even though we're not just getting the current date, we use the date constructor. Save that, refresh, we get true. So once again, we're using the date constructor to convert that date. So it becomes an instance of that constructor. And so we get true. All right, now let's look at the second method. Now, this technique that we're going to use here is a technique that was used quite frequently previously in, in JavaScript. Since some commands have been added, it's not required as much. But basically, the technique is we're going to use a method that is available on another prototype, specifically the object prototype. Now let's just look at what the command would look like. So I'm going to do another console log statement just to show what this produces. And then we're going to grab from object.prototype the two string method. So this is the two string method that's used on regular objects. It's not the two string method that's used on dates that wouldn't work. What the two string method on dates does, well, let's just look at that really quick. If I jump out here and I do date.toString, we basically get 
the date in a string format. That's what we get. And so that's not going to do anything for us to use a two-string method of dates. But the two-string method of an object will give us more information about that object. So if I want to use this method on a date, I can use the call method like this and then pass in that date. And so now I'm able to use the two-string method that would be available on any regular JavaScript objects, but I'm able to use it for a date object. So if I save that, let's see what that third console log statement displays. It gives us object date. So now we can use this in an if statement to check to see if this portion is date. And that could be another way for us to identify that the object we have is a date object. So those are two techniques for checking to see if a date object is in fact a date object, something that I needed recently in a function I was creating. All right, please hit that like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description section. Click that bell button to be notified about new releases. I really try to release a new tutorial each week. And thanks for watching.